Hey guys, so in week two of the Evolution of Balance series, I want to talk to you guys today about quality over quantity. So last week I talked to you about intensity and how my beliefs have really changed and the workouts have evolved over the course of the three years with the Balance brand. This week I want to talk to you about a huge topic that has dramatically changed for me over the years in terms of how I eat and how I recommend people eat. So let me backtrack a little bit first. So we're going to talk about quality over quantity this week. So I used to very much so be about counting everything that I would consume. So your macros, your carbs, fats, proteins, how many calories. Um, and in order to keep myself to a certain quantity, so a certain quantity of calories and a certain quantity of protein and carbs and fats, etc. So in order to make these numbers work on a consistent basis, my quality of food really used to suffer. So things like fat-free items or things like sugar-free items, um, I would constantly choose these more processed diet-like um, food items in order to support the quantity of my food, those macros, calories, carbs, fats, proteins, but in turn, the quality of my food dramatically suffered. And that has been a drastic change over the course of my journey in the past three years, especially dealing um, with an immune condition and inflammatory response. Um, I have really switched my Years to focusing on the ingredients that are in the food and getting the food in its most natural form and less processed, less ingredients, okay, the, really focusing on the quality of my food. So I have not counted my calories or my macros in quite a bit of time. I've really shifted gears to focusing on nutrient density, like eating this calorie, these calories right here. What is it going to do for me? Is it 200 calories of sugar that's going to send my blood sugar spiking and crashing me back down? Or is it 200 calories of vitamins and minerals and it's loaded with protein and healthy carbohydrates? Okay. So over the years, this has really changed for me and I can't stress enough how passionate I am about quality over quantity at that this point in my life and my balanced journey and the results really are amazing so like if you're stuck on your weight loss journey if you are feeling like crap even though you feel like you're eating healthy you know you're trying to lose weight but you're using a lot of processed diet items and these diet foods in order to try to lose weight so you feel better it might be actually the food that you're consuming that's making you not feel good. It's disrupting your gut health, which in turn is disrupting your hormones and your weight loss and all of the things, okay? So a lot of times it's not necessarily the quantity, but it truly is the quality of your food. And you could possibly double your intake in calories, but be consuming way higher quality foods and see a drastic difference in your energy, your digestion, and your weight loss journey. Okay. So try to shift your gears this week. Last week, we shifted the gears on intensity a little bit. Don't focus on pushing yourself like crazy, crazy, crazy. Focus on listening to your body and staying consistent. And this week, I want you guys to focus on the quality of your food, not necessarily the quantity. Throw the numbers out the window, start checking those ingredients, eat foods in its most natural form that comes out of the ground and goes in your mouth. It's a-okay, <laughs> okay? So quality over quantity. All right, so that's week two. I've got three more videos for you um, for the whole month of October. So stay tuned and shoot me a message if you have any questions. Bye.